Hey guys, it's Shannon. Today I have several Dollar Tree craft hacks for you, so let's get right into it. The first one is using these chopping mats, as Dollar Tree calls them, and I use them to protect my surfaces, whether I'm using an X-Acto knife or weeding vinyl. The next hack is using these socks from the Dollar Tree. I usually wad up fabric for when it comes to staining my wood, although I find that I'm always adjusting or repositioning the fabric in my hand. By simply placing a sock from the Dollar Tree over your staining glove, you can use this as a staining cloth. There's no repositioning and it stays in place really nicely. Whether you have a big project or lots of small projects, this comes in very handy. Another useful item from the Dollar Tree are these binder clips. All you have to do is flip those clips back on your binder clip and use it as a stand for your hot glue gun. This keeps the hot tip of your glue gun off of your work surface. You can also place that chopping mat that I mentioned earlier underneath your hot glue gun as well to help protect your surfaces. We all love the storage solutions that Dollar Tree has, but this is a great tip for organizing both your ribbon, your twine, your rope, even lace. So many different things you can feed through those holes and keep them nice and organized. I like these baskets because they stack on top of each other. So it allows you to keep everything together nice and tidy and organized. You can also add a pair of scissors to your basket for easy organization. And then you can also just grab your baskets and take them over to your workspace. These lint rollers are a great tool to have on hand for craft cleanup. Glitter can leave behind quite the mess. However, we all try to sweep off the glitter from our work surfaces with our hands. But if you go back with a lint roller, you will be able to pick up all of those extra little loose pieces. This hack I use all the time. It includes the craft paper rolls as well as these clips from the Dollar Tree to protect my surface. I just roll the craft paper out onto my table. It's nice and thick, so it's great for paint and glue. You just cut it down to size, fold it over the edge of the table, and then clip on those Dollar Tree clips to keep it in place. Let me know down in the comments below which of these hacks is your favorite, or let me know which one of these you've actually used in the past yourself. I hope that this video inspired you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and family and inspire them as well. Hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can hit the bell as well so that you get notified when my videos do go live. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.